I'm gonna do a quick video on the, the firing system that I built. Um, I got the plans for this system uh, off Pyro Universe. There's a um, a few different articles on there, and I kind of took pieces from different ones and uh, put it all together. Um, most of the parts were bought from Radio Shack, <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer and kind of show you a little bit. Uh, what's going on. The box itself is made out of uh, three quarter inch plywood. <clears throat> the top is made out of plexiglass. It's kind of hard to see uh, what's going on where it's clear. You can see through it and see all the wires and stuff down underneath. But the box works. <clears throat> if you turn the key on, the LED will flash, letting you know you got power to the system. Flip this safety switch up. It's got a red LED on it. <clears throat> then this switch, you can flip it up to put it in the fire mode. Or if you flip it down, it's in the continuity test mode. I have three switches on it, <clears throat> rotary switches. They're a four position. <clears throat> but I've only got two of them hooked up because I only have six slats. And I use three positions from each with one position being the off position. <clears throat> but this is a uh, this firing system uses the same ground so all your grounds are hooked into these uh, rotary, rotary switches right here. <clears throat> and then it has an LED for each cue right over top of the fire buttons. These are momentary switches and then the LEDs and holders uh, you can get those from Radio Shack. I know the wiring looks like a mess. I'm not an electrician uh, by far. This is the first uh, project on this scale that I've ever built. I started off pretty good with the wires, you know, trying to run them halfway neat. And when we got over here, there's just so many wires. You've got 25 wires uh, per DB25 uh, male connection right here. And it's just, uh, or female connection, I should say. Or no, those are male. Hell, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> you got 25 wires on, on each one of these. And it got to be a pain trying to put them into this little um, strip right here. So what I did is I just wire nutted them all together <clears throat> and then run one wire into this strip, which made a mess down on the bottom of the box, but... Um, at the time, it seemed like the thing to do. It was a whole lot easier. These are the slats. <clears throat> As you can see, they're just regular speaker terminals. Uh, got those at Radio Shack, too. And then uh, your DB25 connection right here. They are used. You can see the ashes and everything on. Uh, if you do build a system like this, it would be best to cover these up. Uh, they are plastic. They will melt. Uh, and the, the boxes are just project boxes uh, from Radio Shack. And there's six slats all together. And there's uh, 24 cues on each slat. A total of 144 cues on this system. And it is expandable. <clears throat> you could uh, you could actually come in here and put uh, six more of the DB25 connections wired up to the switches. And the only thing you'd have to do is use uh, uh, you know different grounds on them and attach it to this rotary switch, which is just there for looks right now. You can attach it to this rotary switch because it's not being used. I'm just using these two. So I could get three more slats on this one, and then I'd have to put another switch in or um, get a bigger rotary switch. Uh, you can get uh, rotary switches with probably 20 positions on them. So in theory, you could put 20 different slats off this, this system. These are the cables I use for the system. They're uh, 100 foot long, and they're male to male cables. Uh, so I'm guessing that <laughs> what I had over here is the female uh, DB25 connectors on the firing system itself. 
and on the slats. I got these from, uh, I believe, Home AV Cables. That's the cheapest place that I could uh, find them from. I believe they were about $20 a piece, and I got six of them. Uh, the thing it'll get you is the shipping and handling. They're, they're fairly rugged cables. The only problem is I think they're, uh, they use 24 gauge wires inside, <clears throat> which you can't run a whole lot of current through. I'm not exactly uh, how much current you can run through, but um, I'd like them to be a little bit more heavy duty. Uh, you can see uh, burn marks in the cables. I tried to cover them up as best I could, um, but with uh, fire going everywhere, it's 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 going to happen. The cables are going to get singed. On the firing system, uh, I got like I said earlier, I got most of the parts uh, from Radio Shack. These two LEDs I know came from Radio Shack. Uh, this switch came from Radio Shack. The key switch I found on uh, eBay. I got four of them for 20 bucks, and that included the shipping, uh, which is a pretty decent deal. They're all keyed the same, but if I make uh, another system, or you know, I don't care that they all have the same key, because this it, this really doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, you know, I'm not really, um, I know the NFPA states that uh, you should have a key switch on your firing system. So if you're going to build one, it's a really good idea to put a key switch on. Uh, another thing the NFPA will tell you is that they want you to have uh, either visual or uh, audible warning of the system being armed. So you're going to have to either put LEDs on it or a, a buzzer, you know, when you arm it, to be, you know, to, up to uh, NFPA uh, regulations. Uh, you can get on NFPA's website, uh, and it's uh, the code that it's under is 1123. That's for uh, outdoor displays, and it goes into uh, firing systems. Um, you know, display areas. It tells you everything pretty much. Uh, most most of your states go by NFPA. Uh, I know the state that I live in, uh, they go by NFPA. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, you can go there on their website. I believe that you can look at all that information for free. I don't believe it. Uh, I think the only time that they want to charge you is if you want to uh, order a copy of it. But there's other websites out there that you can get it for free. Now the uh, the three rotary switches, I got them from uh, DigiKey, and let's see here, they were seven ninety nine a piece, so they're a little bit more expensive. They're nice switches, but. Uh, I believe Radio Shack has a six position switch, which is the in the original plans for this is what he used. But I already had these switches, so that's what I went with. The LEDs and the LED holders all came from uh, Radio Shack. Uh, they're not very expensive. Uh, Radio Shack, you know, is decent to get most of your uh, products from. Uh, you get two green LEDs for a dollar forty nine. And the LED holder, it's a two-pack for $1.49. So, you know, it's, it's not very expensive. I think this whole system, the slats, the firing panel, and the cables, ran me roughly $600. And that's for 144 cues. And you really can't uh, buy a system for nothing close to that. Uh, the cheapest 144 Q system that I've found on the web um, runs over $2,000. So you can build one. You can build it exactly how you want it. Uh, you know, and you can when you get done, you can be proud of it. This, you know, it's something that you built. Uh, the only thing that I do want to do to this system is I want to uh, upgrade. Uh, it's a 12 volt system that runs off 8D batteries, and you can get a shot down through 
down through the uh, plexiglass, you can see the uh, Rayovac batteries. There's eight D batteries in it, and which gives you 12 volts. But it it doesn't have a whole lot of power to fire uh, two and three electric matches on a Q. Uh, I fired two in series on one Q, but I can't get them to fire in parallel. So you know I'm thinking about trying to upgrade the system. Um, maybe somebody has a suggestion out there they can you know put a comment you know maybe help me out on that.